guys! Welcome to Alex Goes Coconuts. Today we're talking about what to bring to Walt Disney World for your kids. The first thing on my list would be a backpack. So each one of my kids carries their own backpack. That way I'm not carrying everybody's stuff and it doesn't get too heavy. Uh, the kids like to carry their own stuff anyway, that way they have easy access to it in case they want a snack or their books. Of course, if your child is maybe under six, you might want to carry a backpack and carry their stuff for them. Number two on the list is a change of clothes. So every mom knows to carry a change of clothes for their kids in case there's a little mishap. I like to bring an extra t-shirt and a pair of shorts. These ones are actually swim trunks and what I like about swim trunks is that if there's a splash area inside the park and my kids want to go play in it, I usually change them into their swim trunks and they can go play without their underwear being wet for the rest of the day. Another thing you want to bring is some kind of cover up like a sweatshirt, something that they can wear inside an air conditioned restaurant or an air conditioned ride. It also gets pretty cold at night when you're watching the fireworks and the kids do get a little bit chilly. So having a sweater on you for those nighttime events is always a good thing. So you definitely want to bring a sun hat of some sort. My kids are older so they like ball caps, but when they were younger I used to opt for hats like this that protected the back of their neck as well as their faces. Number five on the list is an obvious one, it's sun protection. So you want to bring some form of sunscreen. I like all natural sunscreens for my children uh, and I usually bring a cream form and I also bring a sun stick. So what's great about the sun stick is for face application. So it's kind of like a solid form. You rub it onto their faces, rub it in and it's done. So it's a quick application compared to the creams which they always complain about when I apply it to their face. Number six on the list is a water bottle. So you can buy water bottles inside the park but they're quite expensive and you don't want to be spending a fortune on water bottles when you can get it for free. You can ask for ice water at any stand inside the parks. There's also water fountains next to every single bathroom so it's totally worth bringing an empty bottle and that way you, your kids will stay hydrated throughout the day. Number seven on the list would be some snacks for the kids to munch on in between meals. My kids are always hungry and they're always begging me for snacks at Walt Disney World, but the snacks are really expensive and it adds up really quickly. So what I like to do is I bring a couple of granola bars and some fresh fruit. You wanna make sure that you choose fruit that is non-perishable and won't get all mushy with the heat. Uh, I usually bring apples and grapes, but any fruit that your child enjoys Enjoys will be fine. I also really like these reusable snack bags and what's great about them is I throw in the fruit, you can zip it up like this and when you get back to the hotel that night just wipe it down with a clean cloth and there you go it's ready to use for the next day. You can fill these up with crackers, you can fill them up with cookies, you can fill them up with the fresh fruit so this is a good one to have. Number eight on the list would be some disinfecting wet wipes. So you want to definitely make sure that you got something to disinfect your children's hands. There's so many germs at Walt Disney World with all these kids touching the rides and the door handles. You want to clean your kids hands before they put anything in their mouth. And you don't want to have to be running to the bathroom every five seconds to do so. Um, if you do have younger children though, I do recommend that you don't use disinfecting wipes. You should be using some baby wipes which are much safer for them. Number nine on the list is a pack of tissues so this is an obvious one for those little runny noses and a pack of tissue is good for everything right number 10 on the list is a little first aid kit so what I like to bring is a couple of band-aids I found these cool band-aids with Mickey Mouse on them but you can get these with princesses or the Avengers or Star Wars they have a whole bunch of themes every mom knows that when a kid gets a boo-boo they put a little band-aid on it and they stop crying so these are kind of like a good thing to have in your bag I also like to bring a little jar of medication, so children's medication. I usually put children's Tylenol, children's Advil, and children's Gravol in there. So if they do start feeling sick inside the parks, I have something that I can give them right away so they can start feeling better. Next on the list would be a couple of rain ponchos. Now you want to make sure you get kid sized rain ponchos. This is for those unexpected rain showers 
Or if your kid doesn't like to get wet on water rides like mine, uh, you can throw one of these on them and they'll be dry as a button when they get out. Number 13 on the list is definitely not a necessity, but it's something that my kids enjoyed over the years, so I will mention it in this video. It's basically an autograph book with a big Sharpie pen. It's fun because it makes for a souvenir book and they've had these for years. They bring them to the parks every single year and get them signed by different characters. You want to make sure that you bring one of these thick Sharpie pens because some of the characters have trouble holding onto the pens and this one's thick enough so that they can hold onto the pen and sign the book. Number 14 on the list is also not a necessity, but it's something we started this year and my kids absolutely loved. So I actually regret not doing this earlier, but now that I know about it, I wanted to include it in my video. And that is a land yard with Disney trading pins. So bring these to the park and trade them with any CM that's wearing a land yard with pins. They had hours of pleasure doing that. Sometimes they didn't even want to go onto the rides. So you can actually buy a land yard pretty much anywhere. I got mine on eBay. I got a Kylo Ren one. It's my son's favorite character. But um, the Disney pins you can buy on eBay or you can buy on Amazon. I got a pack of 25 assorted ones so I split them between the two kids and they were really happy with that. Just make sure that you find a reputable seller, somebody who's not gonna be selling you fake pins. So that's it guys, that's my list of things to bring to Walt Disney World for your kids. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up down below if you did and leave me a comment if you're gonna use any of these products on your next Walt Disney World trip.